Hey guys, Brent here, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you what Aperture does to depth of field. So I was out photographing this little bit of moss on the side of a tree, and you'll notice if I go to the original image, uh, let's just go back here. Okay, so there's one that I shot, and I shot it at an aperture at f f22, which is very small aperture you know, a really small hole in your lens. And you can see the, the depth of field I've got. So I can see all the way from, you know, basically the moss over here back into the background. And if I change the aperture, if that's the only thing I change to f5.6, have a look at the shallow depth of field. Now only this little bit of the bark over here is visible and everything else is blurred. So just have a look at the difference there between f22 and f5.6 on the same lens, on the same camera. So I'm shooting with a Fujifilm X-T1 and a 135mm lens, the 18-135, um, uh, you know, a zoom lens. And have a look at what the aperture does to the depth of field. Amazing. So next time you're out shooting landscape photography, Think about your aperture when you're out photographing. Do you want a large depth of field where you get everything in focus? Or do you want a shallow depth of field where you only got one thing in focus where you actually want to pull the viewer's eye into one area of the photograph? What do you guys think? Please leave me comments below. This is Brent. Have an awesome day.